Mwese, bola re interview na nama ma brown wye no. Akwe se yente a ye story no. I mean, ye nya full story na yente. Because, ma ya ambe se mwese, mwese, ah, e di ye full story na yente. Leta na yame ya na mwese no ki, ma mwese bola re page na mwese kohe. Mwese no ma share e di atoho. Ah, omu e din komo. Mwese ye full story ni yina of na nama ma brown. Time wo kwa e ye bola re ho no, no mwese chwen komo no. E, e, very interesting. Na, education su wum, e se mebri wum, e ni sun, e ni e ja ajwa diye, mebri na e wum, ni se ma hodwa no anka se wakum, a wo se, e di tunko o fofu, mebri wum, ni wakwa kan ye e di asemba ya wo se, wo ni eke kwa, nunko anko bini 35 ans, nwa wale no, ni yina e wum, maswa ne, ame ni se mebri, e na, ma, ma, na na mama brown, e, e ke kesi e ni time wa, o kwa ni interview, e wo bola re, e fidi e no sonon. Me peso be jemre, na weti e ye in sema hodwa, e o di tuja, e bro kupi mu, e wo balare, e ni studio, na omgo chunkomo. Yes. What does it stand for? What is it? Why why brim? Brim is be real in making money. Wow. Be real in making money. Brim. There are so many ways you can make money. But if you really want to live and enjoy your money. Be real. Peacefully. Wow. Work through it. You know, you are so philosophical and you, you're just knowledgeable. Anytime there's something new. But we are thrilled to have you here. To hear Thank your you. fascinating journey in the entertainment industry. I think that you've actually come a long way. And thanks so much for gracing our show with your presence. Thank you. But just, first of all, I have to apologize. I should have been on mm, last, last Thursday. That's right. Yes, but, but it's I all good. Sick. No problem. I'm happy I have full life. And, and, and it was your birthday as well. It, it leads me to ask you this question how was it like on your birthday being on a sink bed you turned 47 you don't look it you look like a 28 or maybe i'm now about to hit 30. how was it like on the day first before we talk about your good genes <laughs> you know um this year mm. i i decided to take my day very cool and I don't know why I even ended up on a hospital bed. Really? So there was not going to be any celebration at all? No, 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 no. Ah. Before my birthday every year, there's a feeling. Mm. It's natural. Mm. It comes to me. What to do? I pray about it and I, I save some money along the year for things like that. Right. So this year, I was supposed to release a woman, a pregnant woman from the hospital, uh, the prisons in Kumasi. Okay. When I, I realized, or when I was ready, by the time I was ready, a church had done that. And I had that intention already. Mm -hmm. So I spoke to Mr. Ibrahim, um, who is the CEO, or the presenter, the host of Crime Check. Right. Yes, and uh, Crime Check TV. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, sir. And I, we have that friendship. We have that conversation most of the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I spoke to him, I said, oh, be a be, you know. I was like, no, I still want to do it. Then my birthday is here. Mm. Instead of one person, why can't I do something to, to mark my birthday? Wow. So there's no need to go and do donation mm. or mm. go and... I wasn't ready to have a party. So we spoke and when I said that, he was like very happy. Why not, Nana? So I told him, Mr. Ibra, I don't have too much money. Mm. So let's look at the people that are committed and are something less than 5,000. Wow. If we can do that, then I can afford it. I can fund it. So when he said, oh, no, no, some people are even like 1,008, mm, 1,002, mm, mm. 1,003. So with under 5,000, it's enough to get a lot of people. Wow. So we concluded on having 47 inmates out. 47 inmates. Yes. If averagely you even spent 2,000 on a person, multiply yeah. that by 47. You did a lot for them, Nana. Mm. 47 by to God's mark grace. your 47th birthday. Yes. That's incredible. Yes. I've gone through a lot this year. Mm. Mm. I have gone mm. through a lot this year. What, what informed that? You know, because I also see that you're very spiritual. So this must be divine to say that, look, I'm not just doing it for one person or two people, but 47. You've gone through a lot. Why that? Um, there are some things that when I do mm. it, I, I get satisfied inwardly. I don't know how I can. Do you feel fulfilled? More than fulfilled. It's like, as a me Tommy pa. So... Sometimes the money I save for those things, sometimes it's not even enough. I have to go wow. to other coffers. And, then and, and this up. year I decided not to even go to my sponsors because most of the time 
uh, um, the years, if you look at the things mm. I donate, high sense, right. tasty tongue. So you did everybody's part all of this all by yourself. Oh, from your own coffers. Oh, no sponsor. No, 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 no. Impressive. Just to mark mm. the peace in me right now. Wow. Yes. Wow. I had to do that. And I think it's the right thing. You've I been did. through a lot this year. You're recounting. Give, give us two instances where you, you want to prostrate, you want to lie down and say, thank you, God, for my life. Two episodes will be. Hmm. I have more than two. Okay, give us five. First God. one will be. <laughs> yes, beautiful. First one will be what? First one will be, first of all, finding mm. or seeing through the year. Mm. Yeah. If every year first, December, um, January, January, if you enter the new year, you see how graceful or right. grateful you are yeah. to God. Very thankful. Yes, very, very thankful. And again, if I look at the year, I still have my work, mm. I have my life, mm. my baby, That's right. my family, mm. everybody that's I mean, it's a life in my family. Mm -hmm. Two, I am somebody who drives a lot. I drive to Kumasi and Accra any day, any time, depending on the call. And I go and come peacefully. I'm not a flight person. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, uh, so, so you are actually you have phobia phobia. Phobia phobia, yes. Oh, really? Yes, but I'm fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> but you have that fear. <laughs> mm hmm for yeah. flying. Yes. So and you don't when fly I'm to Kumasi? When I'm in a small space. Small space. This, hey, wow. I have so you, you I like not to drive. want to drive. Mm -hmm. mm. And sometimes the things you're going to do in Kumasi with the timing of the flight mm. and all that, it, it doesn't help me. So I like to drive. I've been driving the whole year myself. Wow. And wow. God takes me back. Sometimes my cousin drives me and mm. then we all go back safely. So for that, you are grateful to God. Yes. Just, you know, back and forth to Kumasi. A whole lot. I'll keep mm. some. Keep some. No problem. Mm. So that'll be number two. Number mm. three, will. you wanted to give us five. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Manuel, you make a one. No, no, no. <laughs> it will hold you to it. Mm. Five, 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 So number five. three will be what? The third one will be? Oh, the third one mm. will be... Um, you see, one mm. challenge I faced when I came to Onia. TV. Right. Sometimes these petty, petty things, we take it for granted. Yes, tell us. But I'm one person, those things is, are things that I'm very grateful for. Look at the number of people I deal with mm. in a day. Look at where I eat sometimes mm. on the street. Hey, after, sometimes when I watch the video, I say, and I'm, hey, me home, I'm home. Me, 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 home <laughs> and I don't even know. I, I go back, yes, saw. I go back and I say, Behave like a star small. <laughs> Behave like you and you don't do this kind of thing. But I don't know, I ended up I watch it and I talk. I'm money and we'll be number a to be chum name corn door. We all feel crying yet to say they would you know that kind of thing. <laughs> so So you don't do those things just for the camera. That is who you are. That's my life, Bola. I grew up with my grandmother. And me ma me nana no to a journey. That is the fish, the dry, dry fish. fish, right? And then sometimes gari, mm. sometimes me, I saw plantain. Oh, so you sold plantain before? E Ebola, you don't know too much about your sister. Well, and people, <laughs> feel, people feel that, oh, you're all glamorous, you're just no, out no, there. No, just growing up was tough. Tough for you. Very mm. tough. And surviving to this day, every day, I am very grateful to God. I drive to Kumasi and where my house is, I have to go through my old area to my new house. So every day is a reminder that mm. this is where you mm. were and this is where you, you now were. have your own house in Kumasi or maybe houses in Kumasi are here. How many houses do you have in Kumasi now? Two or three? By the grace of God? Two? I do five? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. You, I, you, I have you, you, some you, things. I know, no, but you are an inspiration to mm. the girl child. Right now, I will say I have I have some things, but I have a, a complete home, home in Kumasi, in Kumasi wow. for myself and family and friends if we have to go together any day. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. And other stuff. And other stuff. Mm. We'll get into that in businesses and all mm. of that. But you know what? You always appear standing. I know you wanted to tell us about five things that you have gone through this year, but we will stick to the three. It's fine. 
any known designer who's actually dedicated to you people see you as a fashion icon i've been at places where they pull up your pictures from you know instagram mm -hmm. from social media and they want to say i want to sew the you know you, you always keep it fresh what informs that because it's exciting to see yes b you know as a personality mm. not just celebrity what you have to do is your image carries you right two four seven I have come from a place that I cry on TV. I have this uh, um, um, flares in my nose and I do sort of things that right now you think I've forgotten, I still have them. But appearing like this, you might think, you know. So people have watched me almost naked, um, um, bald head, everything, insulting people, all actions. So I don't need to do like, behave any other way or to probably do more, you know? So these things, um, um, right now, if I'm not, I do this or I keep myself well, so you see the difference when I'm working and, or when I'm ordinary them, or and when, when I'm you're upset. And, mm. and when I'm coming on set like right. this, you know? So as a personality, your brand is who you are. Your brand consists of your appearance, mm. your, uh, your words, mm your attitude and everything like me mm. i am the company that's right it's not built mm. on any other thing that. but my personality so since myself from head to toe is a company i must keep the company i must have the ceo the secretary the workers and the security nobody has ever broken it down just like you did you are the company people say yeah. oh i'm the brand and all of that but you let us understand that it goes beyond the brand you're the yes. company you are the institution yourself yes because i know who you are, i am that's right <laughs> and i know what i can do mm. and what i don't want to do right. you know so when i'm working you see it when i'm not working you have to see i have personal um, stylists mm. it's not just when i'm coming on tv I have oh, so you have a stylist dedicated I, to you monthly, 24 yes, seven. monthly on a less low salary because we sat down <laughs> and negotiated. negotiated that hey i'm going to be with you for a long time if you are ready don't look at my image and charge me i will pay you this because i'm also building you so to keep this look nanama help us understand you have a stylist yes do you have a personal design as well for your clothes and yes my stylist your stylist and I, mean, I have about five six or let's say eight designers eight, in ghana eight designers so my stylist, stylist deal with deals with all, all of, them, of them eight designers yes wow and, and uh, also when it comes to your hair stylist and i have two makeup artists wow yeah this one is a for it's a whole institution that you yes. have to run. So you're also helping create employment for people. Yes. If you How look many at people me, in all? Oh, I think I have like 10 or 12 members. Wow. And they are yeah. on your payroll to keep this no, brand we don't, this we don't like pay ourselves like that too. Mm. We, we, when I have money, they know. <laughs> you I, make it rain. Yeah. yeah. When I don't have money, I tell him. Oh, you're when, hoping like that. Mm, when I have a company, I'm going to do a billboard. Mm. We are going to take pictures. I negotiate with the company. Please, I have a team. That's right. The pictures you see out there, they mm. do it, so they can do yours. So you factor them they in. Factor them in. So it's not much. Sometimes they go like, oh no, our agency will take care of everything. We've already paid, and we can't have. It. I say, please, put a five thousand crown for mommy. Yes, mommy, we will share. You don't Just need to let them small know. money on the table. No, and they understand that, that. and they know that out of their five thousand, I won't take any. Mm. Yes. So I'll share. You know what? You, you have a good heart. I, I wish and I say that we should have about a thousand Anama McBrowns mm -hmm. in, in Ghana because the way you operate and you bring people around you. Mm -hmm. Tell us, growing up, what were your aspirations? I know you grew up in Kwadaso. Mm -hmm. Tell us about life in Kwadaso and growing up. Nana. Oh, Kwadaso is fun. <laughs> Even now. Yes. When I go to Kwadaso, you see the attitude is changing. <laughs> <laughs> Kwadaso not baum. And you were me more than no more. And I'm a pen of You were born there, you were raised there. Me, my miss, were women crying on the McCoy. You were born in a crowd. And here, but it was like quick. A woman didn't see can only a colant. I'm a pecan. I think so soon, Koya will be taxi. Oh, she nearly gave birth to you in a taxi. That's why you love driving. Me pecado, me pecado. 
It's an appeal. Somebody will surprise you with a car. So that's a call from the Empress. So you grew up in Kwadaso. Mm. Tell us about life in Kwadaso. Okay. In Kwadaso, yeah? Yes. Now our family houses are those round, round, you know? Mm -hmm. Round like... Like a ten compound house. Compound house, round okay. 10 bedrooms. Your uncle, your ah, auntie, right. into Obiana and Emma or one room, That's kind right. of using one toilet, one washroom. Wow. Yes, one entry, one exit, the same entry. God the has you. So when they lock it, you stay outside, or your mommy will come <laughs> in. Or you have to pass around and go and knock your mother's window then, because that time there's no phone, there's no bell. That's right. And then my grandma moved us from the roundhouse to her uncompleted building. I'm sure when she was young, she was trying to build, mm. and she couldn't finish. So that kind of house lived in. So she, I remember my grandmother took me to Kedetia. And when we were going, she had, he, she had tied her something and was on her head. Mm. When we got to Kedetia, she gave it to me. I mean, from the car. You were and, how old? Oh, I think I was around 12, 14 okay. there. 14. Mm -hmm. 14, 15 there. My grandmother loved me so much. That kind of thing. That wherever nobody would guess to rape you. Rape me. Mm -hmm. So wherever she goes, she, she takes me along to funeral, I'll follow her. To her friend's house, she will take me. She will leave everybody and take me. So when we got to Kejetia, I saw that. My grandmother is selling her clothes. Mm. To my, mm. a friend of Afretie. What's that? In Ashanti region, Afretie means the things you, you wear, you've used, mm. if you're coming to sell them, especially in Toma cloth. Uh -huh. And I saw that, I didn't understand it. So when she sold it, right there, we went to the Dr. Men's area there to go and buy roofing sheet. They folded it. We put it on top of a, brought it to Kiliti Apaupa, on top of a trotro to Kwadaso. So I realized that she went to roof one of her room in the house mm. there, and then she moved us from that there. Moves bumps up. Wow. If I talk about it, I'll even cry. Mm. And that, she took us to her house. So that's where I grew up. Wow. I hear near the boy me and son at the chance in Siso. Eddie Jaguar saying, You've done all of that? Yes. Kumasi Bruni, Kwadasu Bruni. Yes, yes. And. People wait. know your name, they don't know mm. the story, mm. Nanama. Mm. Indeed. And how's education like for you? Primary school, secondary school? Mm, primary school, you know, when I was young, Nama Bain. Okay. I was brilliant. And, uh, you know, okay separate home my mo my mom traveled mm. when we were young right and uh what happened was we keep changing schools so i ended up i've gone to like minnesota international mm. peters international central international yes, in kumasi mm. and then a lot so but then in the end i even came to and uh, where your office um latibiokoshi latibiokoshi blacksmiths blacksmith school near your german okay I went to the GSS there? Yeah, or by the roadside. By the way, the, okay, yeah. you were there? I went there for like almost a year. Because <laughs> we were living in Latebi Okoshi Club 600. Wow, you've been Opposite through a lot. Opposite Club 600, going to Sukora then. Mm. <laughs> well, we are going to Few, few. Few, few. Because we are going to be a few. We are going to be a few. <laughs> <laughs> and then primary school. So secondary school? Did secondary you go to secondary school? school? Um, I finished. I ended up from Latibia Koshi, mm -hmm. all that, to Kwadaso, LA. Okay. That's where I finished my GSS, my JHS. All right. That was, time was GSS. GSS yeah. And then uh, I had the chance to go to St. Louis Secondary School. Oh. But I missed the opportunity. What happened? Because at that time, I'd lost my grandmother and then my auntie, who, who were taking care of us at that time, was selling secondhand clothes. So at every vacation, she would take us to Cote d'Ivoire to go and sell foods. And then by the time we come, it's like when school is about to open. Sometimes when we come, school is even open. And so when I, had, I'd, I wrote the exams and we were waiting for mm. the result, we went to Cote d'Ivoire mm. 
to market their second hand you clothes. You speak French? Oui, je parle français. Ah. Oui, je connais bon. très bien en Côte d'Ivoire. Moi, un peu, un peu. Ah bon. <laughs> Toi, tu parles très bien, Gam. Moi, je ne parle pas. Please, let's leave it Donc? here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so you used to go to la Côte d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, to mm -hmm. go and hawk, mm -hmm. sell second hand clothes. Mm -hmm. You must have been around 15, 16 there. Or yes, my, around 16, 17. 17. 18 there. So that's how come yeah. you missed secondary education? Yes. You would have gone to St. Louis. I missed St. Louis. The oh. time I came, now I had a letter from St. Louis. Oh, so you were admitted? I was, but wow. it was too late when we came. Mm. They had already replaced somebody. Wow. So St. Louis gave us a letter to go to Prince of Peace Secondary School. That's their second school in Kumasi. Okay. And Catholic School mm. at St. Louis. So you went so there? I went there. Even that one, they were open, but they took me. So. Okay. I involved myself a lot in the sports and everything. First year, uh, first term, mm. second term, I stopped the school. Oh, so mm. you truncated your first, second, secondary education first, second, after second term? Third term, I left. You didn't go back, third term? Mm, I left. After were you, were term, you a truant? Were you a stubborn girl? Or no, you didn't have the financial support? Financially. Or? Financially, there was yes. nobody. There was now nobody. you can pay for 47 or 100 people to mm. go to school. Mm. There were nobody because that time my mom too had traveled and mm. she doesn't have the document. Grandma uh, wasn't there. Grandma was not there. Yeah. So it was my auntie, the one that mm -hmm. comes after. My mom comes after, no? Okay. Was taking care of us. So my mom too had traveled oh. a whole lot. She would send money, but you know, it's not enough for. We were three. Mm. My auntie had two boys. My mom had three, mm. left three behind. So by the time the money come, we are paying arrears. Yes. Wow. Of our feeding and everything. So you made it a decision to quit. Yes. And then work to take care of the family. Yes. Is that what it was? Yes, somehow. Mm. I made a decision to quit. And then I started petty petty trading and all that. What were you selling? Oh, I could do rice in the morning, sell in my area. In the afternoon, I had like a charcoal place. It's my grandmother's house. So I, a corner, I have charcoal that mm. I sell. I have, um, in the evening, I'll do kusia yachi. Look, you're a hustler. Yes. Today, the, the charcoal seller is wearing a white shirt. Like yes. This. So, uh, who come back to say that? Yes, exactly. No. that. Yes. So, so you yes. represent that. Mm. You've sold charcoal. That the charcoal, the mm -hmm. From morning, the mini okra, I dance right. people, because uh, later, my grandmother did at Ana. Mm -hmm. People came to rent the place, wow. the houses. When you want a house, she will tell you, Masa, mommy, two months, first cab and I'm in boat down with some And then our boss, no, I'm betting them. So we started having tenants, wow. people in the house, like that. So when I'm not there, ask for the charcoal, they will know that mother, mother, be the only, will be to be the only one, and then they'll put my money down. And then. Interesting conversation mm. only mm. on Star mm. Channel today. Indeed, some revelations here. <laughs> how then did you get into acting? I mean, uh, during the intro, I recounted how you were discovered by Miracle Films. Mm -hmm. You heard that call on mm. radio mm -hmm. for an audition. Mm. Walk us through that. How old were you? Um, I think I was around 23. Okay. Yeah, 23, 20, 23 more. Mm. I had mm. come back from America. And uh, you know, oh, so we didn't get the American story. So, as you were selling, mm -hmm. buying, and selling at a point, you traveled to the USA. Yes, as a young girl, I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. My uncle came from the US, I didn't even know he was my uncle at all. I think he saw me playing table tennis before he got to the house. Okay, so when he was in the house, I came and he was like, Ah, and you know, now about table tennis. No, and I'm saying, Now I'm no, and then my auntie was like, Ah, if you say, Why, no, no. When you were traveling, she was young. Wow. I showed her, ah, more than me. Yeah. It's like, it. she was like, no, 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 no. What I saw, I have to help her mm. take her to America. I can get sponsorship for her from Maryland, something, something, mm. something. And then, I don't know anything. One day I was there, when my uncle came. Bola, my bro. Bobre, tell us the story. Today we are celebrating <laughs> you. You're also an inspiration to many. <laughs> Bad old Anama. When she came, I didn't know anything. Mm. As a young girl who knows a Wanko school, mm -hmm. when we were trying to find myself, even after breaking, I went to College of Business Studies right. myself, admitted me, 
myself to the school, mm. but I know so maybe you know, me call two years after P Prince of Peace. Right. But my name is the MDA. So you, you also just, had mm -hmm. to abandon that I left dream that. as well. Mm -hmm. To so be a secretary, you, you didn't Yeah, couldn't. because when you are home, people ask you, Mother, are you not going to school? school. Mm -hmm. Are you not going to school? I realized the school was in my area. <laughs> so to avoid those questions, right. I enrolled myself there. And it was in an afternoon school mm -hmm. from 2 to 4, <laughs> so 2 to 5. So I go for okay. three hours. Yes, and then that's uh -huh. That kind of school. So when I finished and my uncle, came into mm. the picture, he brought whatever document for me, said, this is my document to mm. travel with. You didn't go for an interview for I a visa? I don't, didn't even know, I've not done that before. I've not gone to an embassy before. You don't, okay. I don't even know. But I'm so confessing to here. You're confessing, yes. Yes. So to travel to America, you never went to the embassy I for a visa? I don't know. All I saw was well, the document, your visa. But you're able to board the plane and go to America? Yes, yeah, because the person was just like me. Oh, so what they call into shame? They had somebody who so looked sir, like you. The pers I'm confessing. You're confessing. I oh, had a chim. A chim. But at least today we talked to Yeah. And to me, oh. mm. me it was around 22 there, 20 right. to my 23. Now, looking at this country, people say, this we all way, say yeah. it's hard. Ah, it has yeah. been hard since. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but now you're near come home. Yes. When we were young, you know, we didn't no, see yes. it. Things will not change. Better this was what in, 19, in the nineteen nineties, yeah. Yeah, ninety nine, ninety nine, two thousand. Yeah. I didn't know. Maybe I say the whole with you. Won't you go? Wow. You will go. You will go. Because you, you were go. innocent. You didn't know anything about I didn't that. Know. So. So they gave you somebody's passport. You traveled. Travel. So you got to America. I got there, and somehow. Mm. I don't want to continue. continue. I got arrested. You got arrested at yes. the airport? And you were deported? And I was deported. Oh, no. And you know, I don't know if my friend deporting. I do anything. So when they brought me back, I was so sad. I was like, ah, obi a kwa breche. Why is it that my turn? But I didn't know that they had done, they had done that. Mm. It was when I came. So they didn't tell you anything? And you went alone or with your uncle? Alone. Oh, no. My uncle is dead. And come in, can't say, we're in good name. Yes, yeah, but he was trying to help. He was trying to help. And he had loved me since. Oh. And he took care of He gave me the name Mark Brown. Oh, he did? Yes. So that is not your dad's name or anything? No. People are saying your dad is white. Is it true? Your dad is Papa Oho. Papa Oho. Papa Ghana. Interesting. But so all those, you know, stories and you, you are the daughter of uh, a Scottish person uh, or a yeah, Canadian. Uh, yeah, You've heard yeah, that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. as your father was alive when you were going but through all But I didn't know him. Know him. Mm. I didn't grow up with him. Have you reached like out that. to him? Oh, we are cool. Oh, we are cool nice now. We speak. God bless you. He always you. wake me up and I get angry. <laughs> <laughs> he always call me early morning. Wow. My kind say, yeah, I'm a brain. He's one friend after 10. Mainly go back. That's a, when you need to when you need, We'll be going for a break, but before the break, let's end the U.S. story. So, have you been able to travel back to the U.S.? No, I haven't. Oh, so, then this is a call to the U.S. Embassy. Because of that, I've applied you were banned. So I'm so mama. I'm so mama from home. <laughs> I think we should talk to the U.S. Embassy. Look, this is your camera. Tell us something. Oh. I thought you were innocent. You didn't know anything. What would you like to say to them? Have you applied? When was the last oh, time? Oh, yes, you? I have. And what are they saying and to this, you? Because of that, that story. It's a crime, so... But I think after 10 and years... Mm -hmm. Yes, but I'm... I'm, 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 okay. This is your camera. Okay, Just I will, I will yeah. say that I didn't know about it. It's true. And you know, this thing about Ghanaians, let me say it. When we are going to the embassy, even now, we are very scared. We start shaking. And for that matter, we keep lying. And you know, sometimes we feel like when we see the white person and we don't get them visa, we are coming home to die. Mm. Or... The, the person will kill us. Or the, but because of that, we always keep losing or missing our chances. So I would use this opportunity to say that we should now, if you are going to the embassy, things have changed even more than my time. Correct. Now fingerprint, now eye, everything is there. So we should do things right now. Now if I go and you don't give me, I'm okay. Mm. If you give me, I'll be very happy. That's right. But because I will come genuinely now. I'm coming genuinely now. 
And I'm saying that to everybody, go genuinely, because the records will be there forever. And if you keep lying, it will go against you. Interesting you know, one. I'll beg them right. that please, American Embassy, <coughs> consider me again. Look at my record. I'm not a bad person. I've never been a bad person because I really knew what I've done and I wanted to correct it. And I want to take this opportunity to tell everybody the same. And that is life. That is life. Okay. I mean, life happened. And I think that after this, uh, I'm also going to make sure that I put you in touch with the, the very good woman who is the U.S. ambassador. I believe that you can plead your case. You can sit down with her. Like you said, a lot has gone on mm -hmm. within these years mm -hmm. and, and and now look you own a lot of stuff mm -hmm. your, your 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 destiny has changed if i should mm -hmm. put it that way so hey i think you should go back <laughs> to the us why not and a big thank you to alisa hotel yes we're coming to you live from the alisa hotel thank you to the management of alisa time for me to tell you about mtn mtn free after one well have you heard guys the latest from mtn if not then listen in for those of you who love mtn free after one prepare for the upgraded experience that is mtn free after one extra let me tell you about it the extra is all about something great with mtn free after one you know what you can talk for one whole hour uninterrupted while paying for only the first minute of every 10 minutes you talk which means for every 10 minutes you talk within the hour, you only pay for the first minute. That's some great news for you. And you get to talk for 60 minutes straight with no interruptions. You know what? You like what you hear, right? Well, let me tell you more. That's not enough. You also get 70 megabytes of data for free after your first call. So you see, now is the time to talk extra with all the people you love. To subscribe to MTN Free After One Extra today, just dial star 550 hash. That's star 550 hash. And follow the prompts. And also, some great news from Habtail. You know, sometimes buying your car insurance isn't the problem. It is when you forget to renew it and then you get in trouble with the police or an accident. Instant car insurance is now on Habtail. So get your instant car insurance sticker anytime. No long things. Just install the Habtail app. Enter your car number to your instant insurance sticker. And that's it. You can also set a reminder for your next renewal date. Simple. Go to Habtail.com forward slash app to install your Habtail app. And then you set a reminder to renew your car insurance today. Habtail is everything you. After this break, we have a lot more coming up only on Star Chats. We'll be right back. <laughs> And welcome back. You're on Star Chat. My name is Bola Ray. And our guest is the gorgeous, the beautiful, the ever delectable Nanama McBrown. Nana, welcome yeah. back. Thank you. Great. So it's now time for us to tell you about MTN Yellow Thursday. You know, Thursdays are now extra special on MTN. Yes, Thursdays just got more exciting because from now on you get a nice 25% purchase of the day when you bundle on my MTN app. It's simple. Use star 138 hash this and every Thursday on MTN. MTN is saying that that's not enough for a lovely customer like you. So they are offering you free extra movie tickets. Can you believe that? When you pay with Momo at Silverbed Cinemas at Accra and West Hills Malls. So for those of you wonderful people right here in the Garden City, Kumasi as well, you get your tickets at the Golden Cinemas at the Kumasi Mall. So if you ask me, I think your movie dates are sorted from now on. Yes, Thursdays, just something great for you from MTN. Now this is what I call a sweet deal. Well, set your reminders, bundle on my MTN star 138 hash. It's that simple, star 138 hash, and make the best of your 25% first data bundle discount. And then visit cinemas as well. Use Momo, and you get your free extra movie tickets on MTN's Yellow Thursday. Let me tell you about Top Choco. You know, there's nothing more pleasing than Top Choco chocolate spread on the bread. Yes, it has the power to awaken your taste buds. And also, it makes you happy instantly. You'll love Top Choco. Well, Top Choco 3-in-1 Instant Mixed Chocolate Drink is suitable for preparing both 
hot chocolate and cold chocolate as well so it's all for you it's your choice just add hot water and you're good to go introducing the latest to our top choco family that's the top choco choco cup something that you will love surely be a crowd pleaser you will love that so children can take it to school imagine serving these cups at birthday parties picnics or any other gathering so go ahead and get your top choco welcome back empress we're on so let's talk about you know getting into the movie industry we're talking about the audition you getting you know a call up and then what happened my brown <laughs> be you know after i came back right deported and frustrated mm. crying every day one day i tuned into fox fm mm. i heard our late brother um kwame Uswansa had an interview and then he left some numbers behind okay. that whoever is interested to go to Miracle Films. I went there and I don't know how God always, in my difficult times, opened doors for me. So I went to Miracle Films. Mm -hmm. At that time, his, his shop was at Edum. So I went there and uh, God works Mysterious ways. <laughs> Most, in my life. Mm -hmm. I always say this. Just when there is an obstacle, a difficult time, mm -hmm. and I don't know what to do, there's a direction. That's how God does it, or do something yeah. different. So when I went there, I met a lot of people, but I met two guys, and they were like, if you want to act, then you have to register. I registered, mm. and I was like, Put my name there, but I don't have money. <laughs> right. So when he wrote my name there, and I said, I, I had said I don't have the money. He was like, no, you have to, if you want to be part. So I was like, I'm going to bring money. But you put my okay. name there. I will bring you the money. Wow. So immediately I stepped out. I met Morris, and big thank you to Morris and Mr. James Abwaji. Mm. And uh, Joe. Joe so, Abwaji. Joe. Mm. I, both were at American Films. Okay. So they were like, who are you looking for? I was like, I want to act. But they said I should go and get money. I know somebody down there. So I'm going to get money. But I have my name there. And they were like, come. I go see, money di in ngoho. What do you want to do? And then I told them. So right there, the guy gave me a script. That this is, this is the script. Go and learn. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know what it's about. So it's a storyline. So. Mm -hmm. It's like Aku is a girl or a cock and a hen kind of story. Mm -hmm. So when you are reading, you follow it. That's right. I said, okay. I took the script home. So the next Sunday, we went to audition at Cultural Center. That's where they had said the rules already. I mm. thought I was going to read the script. When I come and then they you'll be do the yeah. audition, I sat and sat and sat and sat. They were auditioning themselves as in. The Miracle Films had, they had done audition a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And they were now trying to figure who to have this role. But they'll give one role, one character mm -hmm. to about four people. So that was what they were doing. Mm -hmm. I was seated watching. So after everything, it was like we are done. These are the people we are going to be working with. But everybody what? to stay glue. In case somebody miss out, we will call you. So I was like, hey, it's in bed. And he was like, OK, right now, I want to start creating crew from Kumasi. Mm. Everybody comes from Accra. So this production, we are going to bring people from Accra. Mm. And then I'll get people from here to assist them. So by third production, mm. you all will have an idea of sound or right. this or that. So after that, it was like, so I want people right now to be light people. Then they will stand up. Uh, 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 makeup, then you get another people. So you got to costume. So like costume, everybody was seated. Costume, everybody was seated. I said, let me see, costume, my daddy. Costume, my daddy. <laughs> you didn't even know what? I didn't even know. Wow. It's very, they were using some terms, terms there. Yes, so of I didn't course, know, you know what, what it was. that term, mm. but I know that costume is like mm -hmm. creating an outfit or for right. some. I said, costume, my daddy. I was, oh, or said, you might need to cry. I don't have to say, oh, my daddy, 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 oh, my daddy,
So I can't even meet him. So I'm going to be on a set with him. <laughs> then I stood up. I said, "Sir, I'm new here. The costume, I don't know it. Mm. But if you show me or you teach me, learn. I'll do it." Wow. And it was like, "Oh, okay. And they come, come and write your name here. Where do you live?" I said, "Kwada." So I said, "Oh, I live at Tanoso, opposite Yasa and Tua Secondary School. Kwada so and Tanoso is like then time at dinner." Mm. So I said, sir, then I'll come. So the Tuesday, he gave me Tuesday, Tuesday morning, I went there. Then you are a child of faith yeah. and a child of God. And that's how come I'm here. So you didn't start off with acting. Mm -mm. You saw an op opportunity mm -hmm. in, 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 in providing or assisting them with costume. Mm -hmm. And then you transitioned. Yes, because on the set, mm. after three days, their car spoiled. <laughs> And me too, I have been driving when I was 16. Oh, you started driving when you were 16? Yes, when you had this? yes. When I was 16. So I, I had knowledge about cars. Mm. And in between that time, I dated somebody who works at a magazine. Oh, you, you dated a, a mechanic or something? No, a mechanic, a businessman. A businessman, okay. Yes. Who was? Who, had, who was who trading? Trading. Around in, magazine, in, in, okay. and in car parts, in cars, in car parts, mm. and also in, in cars. Yes, he at bought me 16. my first car. At age sixteen, you yeah, were dating them no. um, all. No, no, no. I started driving my grandfather's big car, that the big. At age sixteen. Age sixteen. But when you started dating that businessman, you were how old? I was around twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yes. Wow, you caught a big man then. Yes. Rich man. So magazine here, no police car. Obe peme, or the car na be peme. He gave, yes. he gave you your first car yes. at 21. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> we are so one in Tema and Ausian in Tem. One in Tema and Ausian in Tem. Of course, when you're able to, you know, get into mm. it early, then you also learn. Now, when, when he, he saw me, mm. because of my background in French, so I was working at a comm center, and then he came to do the call there. And then he was like, I should call Cote d'Ivoire for him because he was selling some car. He, he mm. was trading between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. So when he came, he was like, I've called that for the past three days. I'm not getting the mm. person. I want to, he needs this car and I have it. I have a customer that has, so please try for me. So I doubt it was not going first. It was not going to the third one. It went. It was like, wow, a call, come on, come on. So he didn't even go to the booth because when he's reading to go, your, your charges go high. That's right. So he was like, hello, uh, 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 monsieur. Uh, Fofana, uh, Sava, uh, friend, friend, Ghana, 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 car, 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 bring, bring. I said, ah, you want to speak French? He was like, yes. I said, Fofana, me, what do you want to tell him? I can speak for you. <laughs> I took the phone and was like, say it, say it. And I tell him, I said, catch and say, me nyaka anibi. So I was like, uh, uh, bonjour, monsieur, mm. uh, pardon, mm. monsieur, la dike, le voiture, la. Il a, il a envoyé, il, il peut envoyer, tu sais, mais quelqu'un me fait un truc, mais ça a un niveau moi. Then I come back and I tell the man. Mais oui, on a ça. And then the man sat down. He He's like, love. my God, <laughs> mais what Tommy? Tommy. Ah, what a French. Wow, we are lucky girl. Wow, my year call, no sign call. Then I will come back again to, for you to make another call. Tell him again the same, I'm going to plan it, tell wow. him the day I'll go out. After that, in the evening he came, then he sat down, we had a long chat. He didn't say anything. Then he went, then as they came to pass by, he stopped. He sat down, he didn't make a call. We chat, I didn't know anything. Then he went, in the evening he came. We sat down, we chat, then he left. So the third day he was coming, I was like, ah, where do you live? At all this while he didn't ask me that. But I said, I live at Kwada, so he said, oh, okay. Can I drop you? I said, hey, if you, then you drop me by the roadside, because if my auntie can choose my mama major age, man. So he dropped me by the roads. So he dropped me. On our way going, I was like, hey, okay, you went because it was Tiko. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it was new, new. in Kumasi, okay. and nobody had that. So I was like, okay, you went Nico. And it was so cute. cute. So when we were going, I was like, ah, do you know how to drive? I said, yes, I can drive. What are you sure? I said, yes. So we got to Prempe College, and there was a police barrier there. Mm. So after the barrier, he gave me the car. He said, drive, let me see. Then I drove the car to my junction. Um, he said, no, where, do, where is your house? I said, I won't show you my house. Come to my work if you want me. Because if I show you and you come, my will let me stop. That's right. So I won't show you. So he dropped me. The next afternoon, he came again. 
in the evening, he said, if you can drive, drive the car home. I said, no, when I get to the police bar, I can't cross. So he crossed with me, gave me the car, and then he left. So I went to park the car at the filling station. You couldn't take it home? I went to park the Tiku at the filling station. Then I walk home. The next morning, I come for the car. Come for the car. Afternoon. That morning, I come and look at the car, and I'll go home. <laughs> And then I'll go so home. he gave the car to you? At that time he didn't say he was going okay. to but the fact that I can drive, drive and park yeah. the key, everything. I come and look at the car, is he still there? I don't want trouble. And I'll go home. So in the afternoon, in the evening he came to the work. He was like, if you can drive, take the car. I like you. Oh. Oh. I said, hey, then don't come to my house. Always come here. If you come to my house, my auntie sees me. <laughs> he stopped me from the work. So he kept on coming to the workplace. Said then, then we started dating. Wow. You dated for how long? I, I dated till I left for America. Ooh. Because when my, my uncle saw me, you know, it wasn't a day. Okay. It took him took years. years to get you to yeah, America. To okay. America. Hmm. Wow. So it took me years. He changed my name, mm. went to Pioneer. At that time, yes. it was Kumasi Pioneer. Went to the affidavits. He changed my name from Felicity Ajeman. Yeah. Then he said, if you go to Abruche <laughs> and you become a big star, mm. Felicity Ajeman, uh, yeah, no. okay. let's put your grandmother's name mm. there. Because I was named after my grandmother. Right. It's Nana Ama. Ama. Ama, Ama Usua. And mm. he was like, no, keep the Ajeman because that's a family, family name. So the Ama Usua is your, your soul name, so it's okay. So it was Nana Ama Ajeman. And it was like, for you to be special, let me add the Mark Brown to it because when I went to South Africa to teach, mm. a professor saw how brilliant I was. I was Joseph Boache. And the professor was like, no, Joseph Boache, it's okay. But I served the professor and the professor gave me his name. So I was Papa Kofi Mark Brown. And he made me unique among Ghanaians, among mm, the students. Yes, the students, among everybody. Mm. When you talk of Mac Brown, it's not just about you, the name. There's something about you mm. that mm. represents mm. Mm. the name. You believe that that change of name also helped you to excel? I mean, for Majiman that you used to, you know, Look, answer to. You feel Mac Brown, that name is a blessing indeed. I think my uncle blessed me he blessed me with that name because with the explanation mm. he gave I, I fell in love with what he was telling me mm. i was like yeah papa can you buy the sister no mommy then that name has changed me wow. and that's what has made me interesting yes. and, and, and and you are a superstar household name and all of that mm. you've starred in over 200 movies is that right more than that more than 200 movies yes amazing Walk us through your work ethic. You are disciplined, you are consistent, you are affable. How do you do that? Walk us through that, Mac Brown. Um, you know, B, I'm one person that before I make an attempt, I must think through, mm. I must fall in love, and I must see the future That's right. of whatever I want to do. Sometimes I get deceived by the future, but the present, gives me a level that even when the future turns to the other side i can still flow uh -huh. so i think about my steps i'm human being i forget myself mm, but yeah. when i'm working with bola mm. i'm not just getting a salary from you i must leave bola's mm. place wow. happy mm. and with a lot of knowledge going to survive on my own i'm that type i work with you for two years I have to. I'm not going to be on the same level with you, but you'll be happy to see wow. where I, I Your will progression. Be. Yes. Talking so, about work and living and all of that, I know, yes, you got into television presentation, you're on UTV and all of that. Why did you have to leave? Did you get a better offer from Media General or Nia TV? Did you say to yourself that, what, I've got into this crescendo or this level, mm. I want to move on? What was it for you, Nana? For the first time, maybe you wanted letters into it. Oh, B. Yes. Um, I will say it this way and genuinely, Please I will do. say it. Mm. And if I'm not feeling good, mm. I would want to move on. But I would want to move peacefully. Because I know where 
my vision yes. is media general if i get tired i will move it's like that with every human were being. you tired with mac brown's kitchen and everything hosting showbiz mm -mm, i'm not tired with hosting i won't be tired you were not tired. no no but no, you no. said you were tired so you wanted to move on from youtube when, what i say i'm tired is mm -hmm. where you the get in life it's not the environment mm -hmm. and it's not the people okay it is me okay i have done this this is the line my year drew her me here another space to a uh, higher mm -hmm. speed no mm -hmm. yeah and mommy leverage you know and mm -hmm. mommy okay but me feel it say me na me deme hon and i'm in baby i'm the me county i just want to have another set I don't know but if you could understand have provided, me. No, no, they could have provided the same set for you with a different feel. Maybe still I am not media. getting the right words. Maybe. Too. Tell us. I am not getting. Despite media is still a home. Right. From here, if I want to have an interview, Great. I can you call can Father. Anytime. I mm. still speak to Father on your... I will tell you. Good. We are very good friends. Thanks for clarifying that. I still mm. speak to Father. Mm. I can call Father and say, Father, we hear promo. Mm. Hey, Pacho. United Showbiz, me know na build here, but say me basso. I be mwana say father be kano. I be here me mwana. O kano a me ko despite ho. We ni udin tra. Me daso ni ye fine. O kano a. So all those I mean rumors and things that are there. Me ko doctor sapon ho. To be honest, me ko doctor sapon ko ansan me ko despite. Because yana ko for few time me ni despite me 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 fa ho. No. Okay. Logistically. You respect the structures. Yes. Mm. I agree. And I know Father will not say no for me to even go to the other side. I left UTV peacefully. So why, 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 why was there the bohaha and all the things that sometimes when you post, people will say we are attacking them. When you, you they also post, people feel there's something. How come? Um, maybe the time was short. Because... My last presentation on UTV was 25th December. And like I said, I left UTV peacefully because I told Father before 25th, God is my witness. I mm. because mm. 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 oh. mm. 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 also. Uh -huh. and, you know, I told Father before, and Father was like, I won't let you go. That's the truth. Wow. Wow. And I knew, say, my father force and call my men call. Okay. You I tell, despite you tell uh, Dr. Sapon, or it was no, only Father? It was mm. only Father. Because before United Showbiz, I had my grounds kitchen, then Father was the one I was dealing with. And what okay. I do is mm. the work. Father is the boss. That's right. So you respect the structures. The structures. Super. I don't take advantage of mm. my uncle Your despite yeah. or my friendship. In Tina, I to say, oh, you see, despite I've been manipulating situation, you know. But I can say, move on to an eye to say, Father, I ain't the I kind of, no. That was not the idea. Okay. So since I, everything UTV, I don't go to despite. I so Father didn't want you to leave, to go. and why did you still have to go? That means that you, you didn't give him that respect, or you thought if you listened some more, you'd be, you know, asked to stay, so and you didn't want to? Um, this is it, B. Tell us. When Father didn't want me to go, I already had a feeling to go. And this work, we work with feelings. Mm -hmm. We work with the energy is the feeling. It's not about the salary. It's not about media. Didn't general didn't give me anything special that Despite couldn't have given me. Mm. Are you feelings? Okay. And you know, me feel it say, now me person me changing my brand. No. Okay. So kakra. And you're the bunny. Do you have regrets leaving UTV for media journey? I don't. I I don't think I regret anything I do in life because, like I said, mm. I think through it. And I see the vision. Into me regret it. Media, I am a Nigerian. and say my build this show, not show, not that so jina and not so. Now, when they obit now, no kasa. On to me, and when you know, it will come back to me too. They will share. Do you watch UTV or United Show? Me Showbiz? share, but me who on social media. I'm on social media, but um, you don't make it a point to me, say me, me I'm tuning in. Me time on no crying. Nineteen a man from me show. I have no answer Saturday. 
So you thought through it that you yes. don't want to have a conflict of, oh. Media General gave me freedom to do what I want. To well, pitch it head to head, you could have done that. No, I'm, I'm saying that you could have done that at oh, the same yes, time. Oh, yes, yes. Media General told me that this is a platform we are giving you. What can you bring on board? Mm. Then I took my ideas to them. And then we all sat down. They said, okay, we have this time, we have this time, we have this time, we have this time. Choose. Choose. Which one were you going to do? I could have chosen Saturday because no matter what, I had time to do that, mm. that one. I said, no, my show is different. So I want people to relax mm. and take me to the, give them new energy to the new week. Right. So I want a Sunday. Besides, Saturdays are too busy for me. Yeah. I needed my Saturday too. Okay. I missed a lot of VGMs. I missed a lot of events. I missed all yeah. because of Saturday. Who's seen Saturday shows? Do you know okay. I was supposed to be presenting um, Global Citizen? Oh, really? So you yes. were the original MC for and Global Citizen? I missed Citizen. it because You of missed it because of United Show, because you were on air around that time. Mm. Listen, this is news for us. Yes. So you were the original MC. Yes. For global citizens yes. that happened in 2022 in yes. Ghana at the Independent yes. Square, I but was because part of, of the Ghanaian Ghanaian MCs. MCs. Oh, so one of them took my role, <laughs> <laughs> which I, I, I. Okay. Those are all the things put together that. And you thought that uh, the Saturday should be for Saturdays. me. Is it also mm -hmm. about family as well? Yes, because mm. like I said, funerals, right? Programs, mm. parties, other right. stuff that I I missed a lot. Mm. Or oh, most of the time, I'm not there. Right. And because I'm on TV, they'll forgive me. But truthfully, I also sometimes want to be there. You want to be there. So you also want to be at the events, the Ghana Music Awards, the yeah. Emmy Awards, Global Citizens, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. and all of that. And you're right. Mm -hmm. Weddings, funerals. Yes. Oh, a lot of social and, programs happen on yes. Saturday. And also, I had tasks from people. Mm. When I was at UTV, um, they were like, Nana, we want to come on your show. We want to. But I realized that that show was not like built ah. for that kind of. So you Help. changed the concept. You you created the Onya showbiz. Especially the Friday ones. The Friday ones. It was your concept. Too. Yes. Ooh. Because of the, the, the request or the, the people that always come to me. And congratulations because you see the trends and all of that. And you do a lot of philanthropic, you know, deeds as well. I can see that you're very human at heart. And, and that is what informs that. And it's from, like I said, where I'm coming from. Coming from. from. Mm. Me, I'm not for, I can't forget it. That's right. My house, to go and sleep on my beautiful bed, mm. I have to pass through where I used to be. Wow. So I see my family house. Your family house. I yeah. see my grandfather's house. I see my classmates. I see game. this. Mm. I see them. I go like, God is good. God is indeed good. Mm. So you've transitioned from acting and, you know, now Mac Brown's kitchen. You've done, do you have that running as well or you've shoved yes, it for some yes, time? Yes, yes, yes. For the is past it, Is it coming season, back on screen? It is. Okay. Bigger and better. Bigger and better. And more Give us a scoop. When? Um, we are having it through to December. Wow. Yeah, the next season the is The next coming. season of Mac Brown's yes. kitchen. I went for a break this season because I've mm. not been too well from June yeah. Are you expecting now. another baby? I wish. <laughs> oh, you want to have another baby? Yes. Are you I trying for to. it then? I've not started, it. but if I don't get it, I'll surrogate. Oh, you surrogate? Yes. I really want to have another child. You know, that after 50, I want to have a baby running in my house and <laughs> keeping oh, me busy. But 50, you, sh you should be done and over traveling mm -hmm. with. I'm a family Baby person. magazine is there. Baby magazine must have a brother or a sister. <laughs> I'm just putting a few things down together. Wow. I will. You will? I will. Mm, if my doctor say I cannot. You go for? I, yes. Wow. Yes. You really want to have another baby? Yes. People say at your age, 47, and you know, come on, have fun. You have baby girl, Maxine, and, and you should be okay. You want to have maybe, preferably a boy, right? Yes. And especially now that there are mm. options. There are options, yes. You know? And Kwane here, and you know, yeah, Uncle Fakre be me win Jano, but see him die be we today. We can't abandon our That's dreams. Right. That's right. So after 50 or when I'm hitting 50, you want to give back. And I know I cannot do cry, I will, I will <laughs> go through the right process. Wow, interesting. We'll, we'll be going for a break, but mm. before the break, tell us about. What, what, what makes you happy, Nana Mac Brown? I know you love, you're passionate about helping others, you love your work, and all of that. 
But aside that, what, what drives you? What makes you happy? Well, what makes me happy, first of all, is life. But you see, when you're alive and you don't have the things in it to, you're not happy. You know? <laughs> so let's say, assume that God mm. has given us life. Mm. So in the life, what will make me and Anama here happy mm. is money. Money? See the way I said it. <laughs> it's money. And that's why I work too much for wow. it. You, 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 you are overly rich and, and, and no, we see... No, no, no overly Look, rich. You've done, you've, done, you've done a whole lot of ambassadorial deals. But, you've but done you know, sun, adverts. Sun can be done for free, you know that. Oh, you, you've done some adverts for free? No, I'm just saying that. Or some ambassadorial deals And some can be done discounted. I, I know, but, but of mm. course, I heard a, a little bit whispered that you don't charge less than 200,000 Ghana cities. To be, to, to yeah, become an oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. You don't charge 200,000. Oh, baby. But you've charged that before. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. But you started in how many <laughs> adverts thus far? Or you're a brand ambassador for how many brands? I think I can count like 10. Like 10? Wow. Yes, I think so. And the one say, Hano, Ghana, no, sometimes cry, no. I'm in person, I'm in person, I'm in person. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh, because... Because now we can okay. talk about high sense. There's dead dill, spices. spices. There's... Um, Tasty Tom. Tasty Tom. My Way Insurance. <laughs> My, way, My insurance, way Insurance, yes. Soft Care. Soft baby Care. Diaper. You had a Bell preferred Bell Pack Tissues. Bell Pack Tissues. And right tissues. now, Kivo Gari. Oh, Kivo Gari as well. Yes. That is seven. Yes. I've seen a, a lot more. You've, you've done some more as well. Hey, you want to yeah, I think that I, I, I can't. There's what? <laughs> a lot. Holy. <laughs> holy. Holy mosquito spray, right? Holy mosquito spray. Oh, and, do, and, do you want to go on and on? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for a short break. When we come back, we'll talk about motherhood. You know, there are a lot of people who look up to you and how you are with your child. Mm -hmm. and even at, I think when she was one, you, you, you got a, a deal to become mm -hmm. an ambassador. Mm -hmm. And for me, even for my little girl, sometimes, uh, what's their place? Amalina? Or Amalina. Something? Fantastic. You made them, you know, what it is. I should say proudly. Oh, I should and, have added Amalina too. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. So, congratulations. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> Welcome back, and we would like to say a big thank you to Star Assurance, and we welcome you on board Star Chat as well. Well, Star Motor Third Party Extra, something great, a policy from Star Assurance, protect your vehicle and change your life. At Star Assurance, we believe in driving change, not just vehicles. So do you know that our enhanced Star Motor Third Party Extra policy is designed to give you something special? Yes, your peace of mind while making a meaningful impact in the lives of children in need. So, here's the catch. For every Star Motor third party extra policy you buy, you contribute five Ghana cities to hope for little lives. It's a dedicated NGO working tirelessly to improve the lives of underprivileged children. So that's some great news. And big thank you to Star Assurance for this. The Star Motor Third Party Extra is an enhanced third party policy providing cover for loss or damage to your windshield, driving mirrors, back glass, or other glass components of your vehicle. So you know what to do. Choose your Star Motor Third Party Extra today and put a smile on the face of children in need while you also get to protect what you deserve. Together, we can make a difference. Call us now on 0302 24 5908 or toll free number 0800-177-177 Star Assurance your solid partner and to MTN is the MTN SME month are you into small or medium sized business well if you're looking to manage communication costs effectively then I have some news from you is the MTN SME plus it offers you flexible prepaid packages, classic, super, or premium. And that includes talk time, SMS data, and voice services. So enjoy free on-net calls every Monday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. only from MTN. Dial star 5060 hash. That's star 5060 hash to subscribe today. Yes, MTN, less business than together. And let's do this. 
Let's get business done together. MTN everywhere you go. Nana, welcome back. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about motherhood. Yes. And you know what you did for your baby girl, Maxine. At one or two, I don't remember the age, but you, you got her to be a brand ambassador. Yes. How, how is motherhood life, first and foremost? Walk us through it. Um, motherhood mm. is amazing. You it's gave beautiful. Beth your first child at what age? Uh, 41 to 42. 41 to 42? Mm -hmm. You had been trying to give birth. I before. celebrated 42, I think, in my own magazine, a few months. Oh. Mm. 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 And before that, you, you, you were trying to have the baby of your own? Yes. It took you how many years? I started having a baby with from the guy who bought me the car. <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't getting pregnant? No. <laughs> Is there a condition? Are you I, I know, medically? There wasn't. Nothing? There wasn't. Also, at age 20, you had, you've been trying to have that, a child? That guy wanted to have a child oh. with me at that time. Wow. And it was not coming. <laughs> So, <laughs> so were you crying always? Oh, at that time, I wasn't crying. I was yeah. young. And at and what age did you start getting worried that, well, you're trying, <laughs> having unprotected sex, and still um, nothing's started happening? Started getting worried, started after 32. Mm. I actually bought my first house at age 32. Oh, you bought your first house? In yes, Kumasi? Was, no, Accra here, Accra. small house. <laughs> you still have that? Yes, oh, still, oh, I wow, still have it. Wow. So I'm estate, estate, estate yes, yes. I still have it. So after that is when I realized that that's it. They say they met me out. Uh huh. Man, why you cry? Met me out. Who were you dating at that time? That time, then I think Sana Michelle had a serious relationship. Oh right. Mm -hmm. Was it before Ochiame Kwame or after that Ochiame Kwame oh, came? Oh, Ochiame long ago. Oh, long ago. Mm -hmm. After the boga, after the the man. What oh, boga? The magazine guy. Oh, magazine there. Uh, uh, before I became an actress. An oh. actress, okay. Or not the businessman, not the baby, baby cry. Baby, uh, ready to spend uh, on you. Oh, me answer. Me what TV so? After we we didn't really really break, break up, up. Giddy giddy beer because mm. even now when he sees me we still. Oh, so talk. You, you still have. Yes, talk. when he sees me we mm. talk. We still wow. talk. But when he sees me we talk. Oh, you still talk to? Him? Yes. It's his wife, your your friend. No, because I didn't know her from anywhere. Yeah. So we're in that street, we want to make say, "Oh, me." Oh, then I'm a G. Then I'm a G. I love that. I love your opinion. But you still talk to Ochiha Mekwami? Ochiha Mekwami, they know people don't meet me on them. Why do you guys break up? What is the why? Everyone say, it's a tattoo relationship. And then when we talk about it, it will mess up everything. I don't know how they will take it. No, no, but it's a courage. It's a courage. It's a courage. It's a courage. Kind of. Oh, I'm doing certain religion. I, I always tell people, B, that me, me, I could be on come during our young me or bar after 35. What are you saying? That you will not consider marriage before 35? Really? Me, I bear my me during our young after 40 or probably 45. Yeah, you are setting the standard. But me, to me, no, be a wo. Me, I'm saying many issues they're making, but look, the principle of life, mistake na yeye no. We no be wo ba kusa siya anya she. But you so are a Christian, one, one, you know one. that is not right. You have to be my. Have I, your... But the Bible is not right. So, we are not right. No, but if you are saying you are being deliberate. I am not right. No, but if you are saying you are being deliberate. I am not right. 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 I Unya akora nunya ema se auto san sofie ni mu a otimi shed. Inti inti na so di ti ti ni ye inti uni Bible akwa nchere eni nchere nchere na. Inti se wa 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 now I could do it. You advise ladies now, if knowing what you know now, mm. to get married after 35. Think of marriage after 35 or get married after 35. Wow. Do you know why? Tell us. What I have gone through, you know, I was happy mm. that every man that I went through, you know, young woman to you, young woman to you, young woman to you, young woman to you, because life now you go through, you know, you have gone through abuse. Yes. Wow. And you know, you have gone through abuse. 
o mame no papa tsna se na um dinya mesro sa ka ho na sa adwene education ho e de wanyi ni into there are a lot of people are like me going through what i went through o mame etu kwan o papa ewu o mame wo ni o mame ni anete o no na na net o ne ne wo fa o ne ne anti they go through that into no sa koda no one she ya he would Oh, he or she would do a lot of things, end up in prison, give birth three, four, five, say, a whole lot. And society gets to judge them. Judge them, they don't know. So me, from my experience, I will advise that as a young girl, if you can go to school, go to the school, finish, have your degree, work, have an experience, two, three, or share a salary name, Boawa. As you are working, as I speak, my, I have two, uh, my children, my stepchildren, Junior, is in a disco, and my other daughter, Nikita, mm -hmm. is at the Brie Girls. And I'm in my class. I'm in class. I'm in the school for school for three months. I'm in the class for three months. I'm in the class for three months. I'm in the class for three months. I'm in classes. So what were you doing in school? Mm -hmm. In your free time, you didn't learn? I'm in the class for three months. I'm in the class Oh, sweet Tibo. No one says, I said, yes, here we go, mommy, me call week, baby, I wash me week. At the same time, from secondary school, no, on to me, it's nephew, because dream now, me, me, come in, yeah, yeah, me, pen, oh, no, no, me, the be, mom. In Tino, we, secondary school, no, we, cho, we, cho, we, we, right, yeah, we, 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 so you want your kids to go to the university? Yes. Something you couldn't achieve, you want yes. them. Yes. So they are called. In fact, you are a You regret not going to or completing secondary school. You have regrets for that. Me regret it because I can't do anything about it. Mm. But I feel, say, in their era, it will, life will be more, more difficult, difficult and challenging. Mm. But say, what we concentrate to school? No, now it's own core classes. No, I call it loose. No, I call three a three year na numere. Lige mo fa ya famazi o school pe ni ya fano. No money in our feet. Two comma nine. One comes our brain to us. And the two bar books. No go back to it. That is that is great home training and also equipping them with life skills. Bola says that you know we just couldn't meet and find you. You need to be a salon. Are we losing that as modern day parents? Because parents, you say, oh, you go to school. After that, you are doing extra classes. There's vacation classes. Some even don't know how to do home chores. They don't know how to cook. They don't get worried with that. Nikita is 16, 17, 17. She did that, yeah. Right. When you are in Legon, then you use that craft you went to learn to feed yourself. Okay. Then I'll pay the school fees. Even now when you travel, I go to the States or in yes. London now that people who are in, in college or in universities, they also get to you do something. They earn. We work. Yes. What two coins is here? When you're in your education, you know, you can have people here right. doing mm. to mm. suscet one or two That's places. Right. And, you know, I and also for the men, you're saying that really knowing what you know, a man should be 40 and now think of marriage. But they will say, oh, a woman... We'll also see that our biological clocks are taken away. So, you know, we need to biological give back. Biological clocks, yeah. no. It will hurt. Yes. Nature, it's real. That's right. So, so what, how then do they beat so that? So what I'm saying is, mm. what I'm saying, I'm not stamping on a 35, but okay. if from your 32, they're going. Boy. Because, Bola, or because school in your area, by 25, maybe I have an open degree, we are candy or one more. Or we have been 28, 30, now I have but even from 22, also we started swinging Juma along school now. Mm. And now we will be, be along school now. They come. So that by the time you are 30, well, when we see Kakakra, right. in between when your dog Kakra, broken heart Kakra, it be abused Mu Kakra. And but say, oh, by your ready, so by equipping the one. And must say, oh, be abusing or you quick free. No. Which is something you didn't know, so you, you, I, it, it I was know, difficult. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, mm. okay. no, but back then you didn't but know. Minim. Okay, mm. so he helped you. Yes, me dey me na minim. Back then, ni na me for relationship na ye ko ni na me unsa ye ko jo for kwa mti mi di jao. Unsa? Yes. Well, I'm a party affair. You want a hard working? Yes. A party affair. Speak some more English for us. You are sorry, sorry. I, I, I. No problem. I like beautiful things. Right. I like beautiful things, sure. and I, I, I want, I have, I want, I want to live good. So you, you want a man who's also supportive and diligent, hardworking. Yes, 
some you may find that person maybe at age 25 mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you build with the person Correct. if the person don't change why leave okay you won't leave you mm -hmm. still be with the person. but in a relationship when we're all growing up we tried something so you've left a man at a point in your life where that person was lazy mm. oh mm. And so you told i don't have to spend 10 years with you to see that <laughs> when a man is lazy after a year or two you, notice you will notice wow. and min mm. mm. because i'm on speed not speed to crash but speed limits to to find myself how, how has being a mother changed your perspectives you know about life and your career has it changed a lot yes yeah. it has of course i had my sister's kids around me mm. and we i mean i knew i had children home but when i gave birth mm. one thing i'll say it has even changed a lot of things around me the way i think and right now i wake up in the morning and say god help me do this and give me life me banusa don't kill me mm. if mm. i die right now looking at what i've gone through and what is right now I mean, there's nothing like losing a mother. We all say it, even at this age. Mm. So don't let me die and leave my daughter. So that alone, I, I get not like afraid, afraid, but it hits me sometimes. And I just feel like the next thing I need right now in life is long life. life. Mm -hmm. So aside that, I know that right now, everything I do will be on the internet. Mm -hmm. And Maxine will wake up one day in the future to read all that. Mm -hmm. You know, my steps must yes, be ordered yeah. accordingly, a few things. And, and, and that is what I, I really want to get into. How do you handle public scrutiny? I mean, you maintain your, your private life in this age of social <laughs> media. How are you able to do that beautifully? Mm, baby, right now, the moment they were like a free freedom of speech, you know, we lost everything because before internet came, mm. before you could say something about somebody, mm. that's right. Before you could write something, the person will not even see it. It was PO box. How would you know my box to send me what you think? Exactly. But right now, freedom of speech, in addition to social media, media. it's a platform that in the future, more to come, that you cannot decide on what people should think that, does that you. get you worried because you're one personality that you know a lot of people will spew out certain untruths and do you deliberately go on social media to check oh what no, are they saying you don't no, do that no ah, no but i'm a social media fan okay so i i go through it all sometimes on mm. TikTok. i see some Mm. On uh, Instagram, I see some. Do you go to the comment sections? To oh, when I'm bored and the thing is interesting, sometimes wow. I go. Does it not get to you? Yes, you're a human being, but... Well, I wouldn't say, I feel like whoever is commenting, uh -huh. say, what kind of negative are you watching? That's right. What kind of positive are you watching? The other kind of negative may you hmm. The other kind of positive may you hmm. Does, does it ever, I mean, get to you? Or has it ever gotten to you that you read something that you knew that this was pure lies? Oh, a lot of Apple them. A lot. I've seen a lot of things. Did it get to you? No, 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 no. It doesn't get to me. I just feel like, hmm, you don't know what you're talking about. Mm. It, it shouldn't get to me now. I've been in this job for 24 good years. Sometimes people go like, hey, Nana, when you knew, Nana is old. And now he's about 47, she's lying. And I go like, yes, because you can't, you've missed your calculation. <laughs> Somebody said you were 55 and something. Because you're about they missed their own calculation. calculation. Mm. And it's not my calculation, I don't care. You, you, you've stayed relevant and that's why yeah. they feel you've Do been you around for why? long. Why? When he was watching me, the mother was bathing him or her in the basement. <laughs> and you know, kids are attentive. Yes. <laughs> so they know me when they were in the basement. And now they can afford a mobile phone 15. And they still see you. And they still see me. They feel like, ah, <laughs> life didn't end there. And I mean, my just on mobile phone right now. It's like, this I'm woman's... okay. And this woman is still my size and my <laughs> shape. They don't know that. Yeah. I'm also taking care of myself. Charlie, that is it. They that is know. it. They don't know. Yeah. Because <laughs> if somebody was like eight or yeah. five, mm -hmm. let's say eight, and watched me for 24 years, the person is 32 years. Right. Now mm -hmm. growing probably beer and all that so when they calculate they feel like mm. ah, 
But now, now my, and that time too, I was, I was, I knew, and I, I mean, I know what's happening. So when they look at me driving things, and I go like, ah, we met us Allah now. Wow. You know, that's the calculation. That's the, the mentality. Yes. But how do you stay motivated and, 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 and you continue to, you know, you sustained it, the consistency, the relevance. What is it, Nanama? Um, B, I think that everybody should learn this. Tell us. In whatever you're doing, whatever career you pick up, you must um, research yourself or learn on the job, aside whatever qualification you have. I don't have any qualification when it comes to acting, hosting, or anything I'm doing on TV. I don't know. I learn on the job on this field of miracle films. And learning on the job as a costume, I had opportunity to get closer to him. And that man is full of wisdom that he would tell you, say, hey, we are this person that is right here thinking that he's a star. He has not learned this. He has not learned this. He has not learned this. The moment we get somebody who knows mm -hmm. how to act and who knows how to do this, do this, we'll use cool. him again. So I said, like, ah, yo. So it means that I need to equip myself for every angle of the work I want. That to is do. that is wisdom right there. Have you directed your own movie? Have you produced your own movie? Yes. Oh, you have. I've been directing since I have about eight movies if i'm not lying that i've directed wow and i've produced about five or six movies congratulations in the past, in the past. alicia ediana ba uh the idea um a, a lot are we are we going to give us that exclusive are we going to see a new movie from nanama mac brown are you coming out with maybe a series a movie okay b as i speak i have you see, people, we always go like the movie industry is down. Yeah, is it dead, dead or alive? It, you see, the creative people are still alive. <laughs> but the avenue to sell or market is collapsed. That's what they always say. But you see, when time changes and you don't change with the time, time goes and you're still in the space. Mm. But you don't know what time it is. Do you understand? Mm. So it's not like the industry is dead. It's not dead. Mm. But we never had structures. And at that time was businessmen who had invested in the job. Mm -hmm. So when they realized that di digitally the world has changed, they couldn't change with that and that they couldn't catch up. So they went back to their businesses mm -hmm. and left as the creative people to find avenues to distribute. Are the creative our, people ready to take, you know? We are ready in the sense that if you go on YouTube now, knowing very well that you don't struggle to put things on YouTube, it's only that... Anything you put on YouTube, as long as it doesn't go mm. against their law, mm. they will allow you. But if you are to have a structure that we sell our movies mm. to us, then you can do proper, 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 proper Are job. we taking advantage of it as creatives, as uh, movie actors and actresses? Are we taking advantage of the digital YouTube? media, new media? Yes. From where you sit, are we? Yes. We realize that the businessmen are back to their business. Mm. So then we, the shareholders, must find business in what we are doing. So if you go on YouTube right now, the young guys took over when we were also busy hosting because mm. we also had an avenue of making money. That's right. And they didn't. Mm. So they were fast. Mm. We were saying, hurry up to go to the other side. Do you understand? Mm. So if you go on YouTube right now, the people that even in the Kuma Wood, they never had chances right. are now no. making impact on YouTube. And you are happy about that. Yes. Mm. Yes, because they are making money. Everything we do in life is about money. money. Nobody should lie about this. It's about money. <laughs> Dr. So, Likey, one of your uh, colleagues. My paddy, paddy, paddy. Yes. You know, during, I watched that uh, during the stage performance in the UK. He's vowed to stop acting due to many challenges, which includes spiritual attacks, colleagues in the industry not respecting each other and all of that. What would, you, what would be your advice? On what? He says that... Uh, uh, spiritual attacks, the movie industry does not pay up. He just wants to quit. He feels that it's not what it is. Back yes, then. when it comes to maybe going on the location for other mm. people, mm. probably nobody is right now interested. Oh, really? But for themselves and ourselves, as in for ourselves, mm. we will because we've worked, we've paid our dues on that side. Love. Me, right now, if I have to do movies like that, if the script is not good, you not do I it. don't even go think of the money. If the script is good, somebody like Peter said of here, mm. when he calls me knowing the kind of job he can do, I won't even talk about money, I'll go and do it. 
I have that friendship there. Right. But if you call me right now to come and do anything for YouTube, I won't do it unless I know what you put there. So those kits that they do and all of that. No, no, no. If I come on your set, our own will be different from what you have to put there or what oh. you have there already. Yes. Okay. I am one person. Because I'm, like I'm an editor. Mm. I learn editing. Oh, you can edit? Yes. What you are doing, Rana, if you give wow. me, I'll cut and paste, give you the graphics, give you and go. Mike Brown's Kitchen, I do it with the help of a Chami Kofi's right. team. Yes. So I learn editing. I learn hairdressing. I sew. I can sew. sew. I had a shop that I used to sew. Yes, yeah, not a chumota. You are um, a woman for all seasons. You do so everything. I learned everything. As I speak, I have my new series mm. on YouTube called Great and Mighty. Great and, and Mighty. Mighty. That's your new series. It's on YouTube. It's over an hour, 30 minutes. Mm. It's a movie series. You know, if you want to. Are you to going to run it maybe from now till December? Or yes. Something? Wow. The first episode is out there. Mm. I wouldn't want to have a 15 minute episode, 30 minutes. I might. People have that. I don't have problem with that. But I want to change it so that it won't be like people have missed the Kuma wood. Mm. So it won't just be like they, they've seen Anama Mike Brown. But you sit down and watch a full story and we want more. You want more. One of your colleagues, and still on the spiritual attacks, Portia, has confirmed that there's so much juju or, you know, like we all call it spiritual attacks and all of that in the mm -hmm. movie industry. Do you I've agree? seen it. I have, you, have you experienced that? Um, I've had attacks on set, but I won't attribute it to Juju. Mm. I've had attacks. You've had attacks. Uh -huh. But I won't say it's Juju. Mm. Juju is everywhere. B. Mm. Among your cameramen. Mm. Ask them. Wow. Mm. Go to the waitresses. Wow. Ask them. Hairdressers. Mm. Ask them. Bankers. So Juju is everywhere? Everywhere. Me. If Juju works, and come here, also come Wow. You've been Juju I, before? No. Kameka say, Obi, any brimi. Mm. Kameka say, Obi, any brimi. You believe that the power of God will shut down? The power of God and your heart. And your heart. I wake up and I pray to God. I say, God, people are looking at me to disgrace me. They want my downfall. But mm. also know that people are feeding from me. So help me. So Juju, dear. I want to say that. Did you work? It's everywhere. But it's everywhere. I want to say that. Did you work? It's everywhere. But I don't want to think that I would do this person juju and I would go scot free. Have, I, you, have, you, have you had that encounter experience where people come to you and say, Look, I can take you to a powerful spirit? I've had that encounter and I'll sit on your TV Tell and it. say mm. that I don't have any connection with any juju man no pastor no spiritualist no whatsoever in ghana or in the world mm. like the bible say give castles onto mm. ca yeah, on Caesar, give yeah. scissors yeah. onto Caesar. that's it you've been approached before to go to i've been approached so that you can friends, be not movie or, people not movie people. other friends to go i said to do no. what they went, nah, nah, nah. Mm. the way you and people will envy you please people mm. will do this let's go and protect yourself i said no and me throughout my career mm. i have never gone to a pastor never. or a juju man to do pray to for me be, mm, like now the person is out there to tell me or demand for the mm. whatever they come back for mm. i don't do that God is my witness. I attend CAC. For the past one year, I've not been to church. But I pray on my bed. For the past over one year, You've not been CAC to church. will sue. Mm. I won't lie, because this thing will be out. Yeah. <laughs> After this break, we have a lot more coming up, only on Star Chats. We'll be right back. And welcome back. You're on Star Chat. My name is Bola Ray. Still, still on your movie, Great and Mighty. It's on YouTube. It's, it's doing well. And, and, it's and doing no. well. It's been on for like four, let's say five days. Mm -hmm. And it's getting to 300,000 views. Wow. Amazing. Yes, with even less promo and all that. Mm. I think people were waiting for it since early this year. Right. And, and, and you've worked with Dr. Likey, there's Salma in there, yes. there's uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Naughty. Naughty. Okay. there's um, my favorite, Who is that? Dr. Likey. Dr. Likey, yes. Yes. Um, is he your favorite actor now? 
Oh no. Who's your favorite all time favorite actor will be? Ghana Pa right mm. now, right yeah. now. Everybody's good though, but I think my all time will be a Jacko. A Jacko? Yes, yeah, my all time because all -time. you know mm. that's when me and a Jacko You gel. You yes, and that's why we could do movies mm -hmm. too. At that time it was full of Nigerian movies, Nigerian. Uh, we switched. Okay. So if I switch something, it's like Bola, you've made mm. this show. Right. You are not there. Somebody come and sit here and make the show. You will still not forget the struggle mm. you mm. you went through to build this right. show. Right. You know. So my all time is a Jacko. A Jacko. And time. for the, the 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 women, you out of the equation, who will it be for you? Mm, women, idiot. Look, let me tell you one thing tell about us. Ghanaian actresses. I think with the actresses, it's difficult than to choose from the men. Really? Yes. Yes. I Your think top three of all time. Oh, my top three. I, no, but tell us. I mean, you're an authority in the movie industry. My top three, I will choose Jackie Appiah. Jackie Appiah, okay. I will get my sister, Mila Mobe, and maybe Mila Vivian, Mobe, and okay. Vivian Jill. And Vivian Jill. Mm. Mm. So your top three, Vivian mm. Jill. Uh, Jackie Apia yeah. and Emilia mm, Brobe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, if not, I respect everybody's craft. Like I said, it's very yeah, difficult. Yeah. But depending on me, I choose between because of what I think mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. are not what and, and, and that is fair. That is fair. If you could collaborate with any international artist, movie maker, filmmaker, who would it be and why? Where from where? International filmmakers. So not from Ghana, but Globally? Any, yes. Maybe I would like to have. Um, ha! I want to work with Idris Alba. Idris Alba. Yes. Yeah, Idris was in Ghana for a year of retirement. Yeah, I, 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 it got to me when I heard his left. Oh. Yes, I want to work. And with you also starred in an international movie. I saw them come. Um, coming to uh, Africa. Coming to Africa. Mm. Correct. 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 Yes. But you really want to work with Idris Alba. Yes. What about him? Why oh, him? he's an African. Two, mm. I think he. I love his act. Mm. Uh huh. And then it's easier that I know he will come here again, you know? and than other people. And if not in the mm. world, my favorite actress is Halle Berry. Oh, amazing. Uh, my favorite. She's actress. just as pretty as you. And are. I'll add Julia Roberts to it. And oh, that's okay. You are old school. Maybe like the that. third one will be uh, Gabriel Union. Ah, uh -huh. we have something in common. That is yeah. great. And I know you, you, you love to sing as well. You have a very good voice. Some have said that you're a musician as well. Mm. Are you? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a fan of music. I love fan of music. music. You've never dreamt of releasing your I, own. I go to the studio. I get scared and then I oh, come. Oh, you've been to I, the studio and you got Yes. I go to the studio. I enter the with us today. You've I've written your own songs? Oh, I have some. Oh, oh, I have some recorded cry. Sir. Yeah, but I just feel like mm, Ghana for cry. They don't like a uh, switch. <laughs> Ghanaians don't like you to switch like that. Do you live? Do you live? Kind of that's Ghanaian. So you have songs that you've written that you've Oh, watched. yes, I even like, have what gospel. Will say, oh, you have gospel? Yes. Which one? Give us a line or two of that. Which one have you done? Oh, I want to give to one professional musician. Yeah, but give us a line or two. How does it sound like? Which oh, that's fat. <laughs> so my one line. Somebody, yeah. oh sir, it's yes. very, it's very diverse. Yeah, just, uh, just, just, just get it to really. Me. Yeah, get it to character for oh. us. Oh, me to me me feel I feel like it's either mm -hmm. or human mercy oh, or give it to human mercy. Christi. Okay, but how does it go? Just a line or two of that. It goes like, Adi chambi ani munsem, neswara dini yambuafo. Only any that's so. Only a mini and come up for. Only a yare suffo. A radine and a suffo. Only a mobro mufo. Mobro mufo a jay. Only be a downfall way. A junk on a jay. Ah, a crown for one crew. A jawony and it also. Then we all say. Only I need our soul. This is a hit already. Only I need our soul. Only I need our soul. Eje, only I need our soul. We say yen so from one up. We are not just the same. Now why are so rich again? Why are crowds so bad boy again? And penta mu matene. Oh, erade. 
I, I, I want to give to somebody oh, who can no. sing it better. No, you should sing this yourself. I think yeah, my, 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 my team, singing, the cool, yeah. no, you can do it. No, I it. have it in worship, I have it in reggae. So if somebody should come to you now and say, look, we're a record label, we want to manage you, produce this album and sing it yourself. Do what you think you do? the news will accept that? Why not? Why, why would they? They will. <laughs> they will. I think that you should give it a try. Or maybe feature... <laughs> Feature them, you know, him and Messi. I don't want to start oh. something that I'm not ready to ready continue. Ready to. There's this lady who, who did a uh, PCA. Esther. You did one of her songs and I want you to do it here on the show for us. And for me, I got goosebumps. I saw it on TikTok. Which one was that? A song from... Um, PSA song? Mo, yeah. Is it Mo or Before Already the Mo? Mo, oh, oh, me, Mo, Mo. Yeah, that song. No. You silence my enemies. Mm. You put a smile on my face, so you have answered my prayers. My radimo, me mo mo mo. Ah, you silence them, yes, you silence them. They don't know how I made it here. Oh, That's right. oh, you have made me who I am today. My radimo, me mo mo mo. Mazidenyo, mo mo. Mayenyo, mo mo. Why, why, what, 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 what can't you do? <laughs> and I'm a Mac Brown. Why you yamp? And that's another song that you love, right? <laughs> and it talks about being too mad to do on too much. Yeah, God has been good. God has been good. Mm, God has been good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Interesting stuff, right mm. here. And 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 when you look back, God has done a lot for you. Mm. What do you want to give back to? I know you praise his name. Is there something that you want to do for God that's on your heart? Maybe when he turns 50, something that you are mm. aiming to do. And to bless society as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm hitting, I'm hitting something. I know. I feel it. It's right there in you. What is it that you want to do? Hmm. At 50, mm. God I don't want it. to work too much. You don't want to work. You want a soft life. No, Bola. I've gone through a lot of pain. Mm. I, I've done surgery on this right arm for four yeah, good times. I can see. Four times? Yes. You've done surgery on this? Yes. Wow. Can we, can we take a close shot of that? I mean, oh. so now, now you can't even stretch it. Um. I can stretch it though. Wow. But is there but still pain? Did, yeah. Mm. yeah, there's a lot of pain. I'm going through a lot. And, uh, Are you going for another surgery? Yes. To, very wow. Soon. So for and how I hope long? that one will be my last one. You hope that one will be your last? Mm. It's, it has not been easy. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And all this from the accident? Yes. The accident was here, mm. all the way to here. Wow. Yes. And then they did the surgery here, one, two. And then later I was still painting because as I speak, there's metal from here to oh, here. Oh, so you have a metal in there? Yes. And screws wow. in here. So any little thing and it shifts, mm. it's either it breaks or the screw comes out. And then you have to go back. And you so you've done four surgeries. Four, three in Ghana, one in Germany. And you are going back for the last one, hopefully. Hopefully that one. Goes when you see the through. scar every time, it reminds you of? It reminds me of life. This is how life of is. life. Mm. Nothing you can do about it. Wow. When there's a situation and they didn't kill you, mm. the next thing is to just heal yourself and <laughs> move on. We're, we're wrapping up, and mm. I want to talk about the Kids Lounge by Mac Brown. KLM, oh, I call yes, it. Yeah, KLM. It's, it's, it's for Maxine, and it's the Kids Lounge. Tell us about yes, it. Yes, you know, I love kids. So what I was trying to do is I have some, as I speak, I have more than eight kids in my house. Eight kids? Yes, I have friends, mm. kids that they want to come to Antina Nama, Mac Brown, and all that. So all those things pushed me to have mm. a salon for kids. It's not a school. It's so it's a, a salon. Place. It's a salon. Okay. And then we have a place that the salon, because people bring their kids and they don't want to go again. Mm. After doing their the kids don't want to go again. Okay. So we added that the way kids love me, mm. let's have a space for them at the top. So if you're a mother and you're going somewhere, you're too busy for your work, it's a space that you can bring a nanny along with your child to be there till you're back. Or you can trust us, we have nannies that you bring them, you bring their... So is it like a daycare or... It's not a daycare, daycare that we teach. Okay, you a don't daycare teach that we to, mm. relax and right. do creative stuff, like artwork, drawings, 
molding, mm. clay moldings, okay. and we've added ballet and cultural dance to it. Fantastic. So it's not that your child is coming to sleep or watch TV. It's an activity. It's an activity. It's not too busy, okay. but they will come, play, and also... And where is in this? It's in East Legon, the same place where the, the salon is. Okay. The top is where the, the kids have the time. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we have good nannies, mm. good hairstylists, so I will invite everyone to come. It's a nice leg on, it's on Google Map, put it on Google Map and Kids Lounge. We're on Instagram, DMS, but it's very easy. Mm. Come register for your kids. We have weekend dance classes. Okay. It's not like proper Afro mm. dance, it's ballet and cultural dance, kind of. You bring them, you go to work, and at mm. four or five, you take them Kids home. Lounge yeah. by, Mac by Brown. Mac Brown. Who's your favorite Ghanaian musician? I have in categories. Okay. So for her life, all time will be? I have Daddy Lumba. Which yes. of his songs will be your favorite? Daddy Lumba. Hey, can you select Daddy Lumba's song? So which one will be? I like Im Pim Pim. And I, I, I like a lot, but I'll sing this one. Which one? Daddy. Oh. So so be a kuma, kuma, kuma show. I don't Makuma dance and circus yayo, how we ride it. Makuma is a river to me as a nun. Mama Makuma punk. Come at us, my job, you are there. Yeah, that is Lumba. The Lumba will put you in the mood. <laughs> All right. No, Lumba is great. So for gospel, we'll be good too. Oh, gospel. Gospel, dear, I'm going to do i save you. I know you have loads of mm, friends. What I'm, about Afro beats now? Who's your favorite, you know, musician? Afro beats yes. right now, dear. Who, who uh, got it for you? Maybe Kim Promise. Kim Promise? Yeah. Which of his songs do you like? Oh, Kim Promise, dear. He knows that I love him. <laughs> Kim, you know I love you, so. And then mm. you to buy about oh. you. Um... Kim Promise has his style, right. and every time we are, he changes it, mm. you know. I used to love him from, um, 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 uh, oh. The song I, CCTV? Debbie way before time? CCTV. Oh, oh really? My name is Dofu, and I said, Mama, it was a good one. Okay, it was a good one. You know that, I used to love him. But you came with CCTV from, you know, Namibia, on Togo now. Kim Promise has a lot. That's right. Uh, and if you listen to his song, mm. there are some songs people don't know too much. Which one? But, oh, there are some songs, B. Uh, simplicity. He has a song. Song Simplicity is nice. Uh, and I love him. I love his right. style. Mm. And, uh, and for the ladies, who be who? The ladies, I like a few. I like Jackie. Mm -hmm. I like when they shake. The also, when it comes to a mask, I'm, it's difficult <laughs> I know, for me there. I know. I grant you Everywhere that. when the ladies are. Because right. ladies put a lot in our craft yeah. than men. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, we, we can argue that one out. So you just let's B, as you were coming, see the way you are dressed. Cool. You are but there. you have to dress. You know what I went through to no. dress like this? It took you two hours. My room is scattered. <laughs> It's happening yeah. to us in every, every space, space. Okay. when it comes to our song, when it comes to our I videos. When it, so when it comes to ladies, I find it very difficult. Mm -hmm. And then I like Kim Paluta right now. Ooh, yeah, Luta. It's this time, so let's give yeah, it a Which style. one? Is it Asida or Makuma? Asida is nice. I love it. Makuma too is nice, and I love it. And do you know Makuma. why? Which one? Oh, mm. Makuma. Ekoye, Mama. <laughs> Let's see. Look at me, a koye nana. Nana we di a koye nana. Hey, why say kope? Kope ti onya e se kope. Therefore, di a yam fan chiche. Therefore, di a we yam fan chiche. Thank you. Wah, mama kuma nyami ya. Shepa ma pe di a me nyam. Kofu kan different, but me and my answer. I'm passing TV so. Aye mido, aye mido. Do pa pe di a me nyam. Oh, mama kuma nyami ya. Shepa ma pe bi amenya, ayamido na na ayamido. Oh, ah, you be there, you be there. Na na, I'm back brown. Yes, you know, and it's been a pleasure having you. And it's now time for us to do our, our mystery questions. Hey. But before that, I got a message from a lady by name Elsie, okay. and Elsie says, "Na na, she get into politics soon. Do you have plans of getting into politics? Oh, why are you staring at me like that? Any plan?" No. Oh, say B, I wish. Okay. Because it's a very big opportunity that I, 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 I'm not even 
I've not even thought of. Okay. I so wish that I could be groomed into that, but it's Ghana. Mm. Me, I didn't go to school. I don't have a certificate. God has helped me. I've been able to build a company out around me, so I beg you, let me eat in this company. <laughs> <laughs> let me eat. <laughs> yes, because I have, a, I have feelings just like every other person, True. that I want this. Mm. You also want mm. it. What if, if I choose this, why do you have a problem mm. in choosing this? Right. And right now, from my standpoint, point, mm. I'm a marketer. I sell to everybody, grow young, mm. fair, dark, mm. ugly, beautiful, everybody I sell to them. And as a marketer, I don't want to offend the other side of the people. Now, as we wrap up, when all is said and done, you want to be remembered as that lady who came and did what? Okay. I want to remember it as Nanama McBrown, the one and only. Mm. Because there will never be any other Nanama McBrown. Just like we have Auntie Grace or Marble, there's none like her. There's none like Auntie Grace Naughty. Mm. So I want to, the way I see them and respect them and their name, I also want to be respected like that. Because when I see Mamed Okron's son, mm. the respect says, and the love goes to the son. He goes, like, ah, Sammy. That's how I want to be remembered for. The Nanama McBrown that everybody loved. The Nanama McBrown that was kind. The Nanama McBrown that did her best and lived her life. And at 50, I don't want anybody to point finger on me and judge me. Wow. Because I'll, I'll, I will tell God to judge you more. Oh, really? Yes. Because at 50, I didn't be on a many money pa. At 50, can't I have a peace of mind? At 50, if I want to wear a bikini at the beach, why can't I? And you will do that? I will. At 50? Yes. Have you done your body? Like I've they been, say. I've done lipo. Oh, you've done lipo? Yes. I did it and I said it a long time How ago. How many times? One. Oh, you've gone under the knife mm. once. Would you want to when do you that? When you say under like a cock at a cattle, no. No, okay. You it's just did the light pole where you're at, okay. Bola. Mm. And nothing don't, wrong with that. Tell him. I don't have anything, prob and I, I, if I have a problem, I wouldn't have gone. Like I said, I think through everything mm. I do. I don't just wake up and go and sit on Onya show time. Was it after I have a seat. Yes. After going through pregnancy, um, whatever frustration, IVF, to get Maxine. How many times? I did two times IVF. I've done six times washing my womb. What? Just to have a child. I've done a lot. That one, they don't care. But if I go and do my life to, I'm a prison, I'm on TV. I'm a woman. Aside being on TV, I want to have my life. Yes. I want to live my life. Mm. The point is, well, I'm a 47. Oh, do me, I'm a dog. Oh, do me, I don't it. care. And I'm a brown. Thank you very much. And I love your Fendi glasses. You got it for how much? The last time I checked, it was around 1,200 pounds. Somebody gave it to me. It's a gift. From Wendy's Love Fashion House oh, in, Dubai. in Dubai. I actually went to the Fendi shop with her. She bought it for 750. You got a discount? for me. Wow. As a gift. You are blessed. Mm -hmm. You are blessed. And we celebrate you. We say continue to do good, touch hearts, Thank you. and impact lives. Thank you. God bless you.